The Yakima County Sheriff's Office is looking to replace an aged radio communication system that doesn't allow emergency responders to talk easily between different agencies. The sheriff told CAPKV's Emily Goodell, getting a new system isn't just a matter of convenience for the officers, it's about public safety. If I ask the common guy on, on the ground, walking by the sheriff's office right now, do you think we all talk together? Well, absolutely. You guys can talk together fluidly, seamlessly. Not really. Yakima County Sheriff's deputies have more than 100 radio channels to choose from, but none that will let them easily communicate with local police, firefighters, and emergency responders. On the surface, it looks like we can talk to the space shuttle, but we can't because it would require the deputy to literally search for the frequency he or she needs to talk to a different agency. And then you've got zones, and each zone is a separate 16 channels. The sheriff says that's not practical when deputies are speeding toward an emergency. And so a deputy would call our dispatch and say, could the police officer please meet me over here or take that side of the house? They call over to Suncom. Suncom then radios the police officer. Portable radios don't always work work, especially in rural areas, leaving deputies reliant on sometimes spotty cell phone coverage. They'll have to use his cell phone hoping it gets out or even the, a phone from the person's house and the seconds are ticking as help can be just 200 yards away. We can do better. We can do much better. The sheriff says an ideal system would cover everywhere in the county. A modern system would tie us all together. When a deputy and a fire truck or a medical unit goes out to a call out in the county, the dispatch can even remotely change the talk group so they're using the same one. And other counties have had systems like this for years, and now it's time. In Yakima County, Emily Goodell, CapKview, Local News. Now, the county is already paying for a $150,000 engineering study to look at problems within the current system and what they might need for an update. The sheriff says an updated system could cost anywhere from 15 to $20 million, and voters might have to approve a new communication tax to make it happen. But he says a combination of grants, county funding, state and federal money could also help pay for those improvements.